Hello everyone, near and far. This is the second video for my travel playlist. And today I'd like to talk about public art that I saw while traveling in Japan. Now, living in Boston and close to New York City, I'm able to enjoy all kinds of art quite readily. However, today I'd like to focus on Japan. Please enjoy. One of my favorite places to visit in Tokyo is Oeno. Why? Because of the museums. I've even had the pleasure of finding a student art show in Ueno. However, today I'm going to talk about art that I saw in Anpachicho and Taruicho, where I was a jet. I'm going to start by talking about public art that I found in Taruicho. However, I'd like to give you a hint about the second part of my video. This says Ambi Rome Couch. Anpachi. So stay tuned. Thanks to a friend, I was able to go back to Taruicho and go to the Tarui Yakuba Town Hall. But it wasn't the same Yakuba that was there when I was a jet, it was the new one. When I walked in, I was amazed by incredible sakuhi, handmade creatures on either side of the entrance. The woodsy creatures made from nature matched perfectly the woodsy interior of the Tarui Town Hall. And I think these creatures made from tree nuts would also match very well the woodsy interior of Gensoen. Gensoen is a shop and a restaurant cafe in Coolidge Corner in Boston. Let's look at this sign. Shizen kara no okurimono. Kinomito asobuto kaite arimas. Now, I'd like to tell you about the brilliant and beautiful mind and hands that made these creatures, Ms. Sachko Takagi. Sachiko Takagi is 83 years old and she lives in Taruicho. She started making these creatures later in life at age 60. Sachiko Takagi grew up in Gifu Prefecture near the origins of the Nagara River. She grew up bathed in trees in a forest. In this idyllic playground for children, she learned the blessings of forests. Sachiko Takagi fondly remembers the buckets of tree nuts she picked up as a child as she makes these creatures today. Takagi-san wa kodomo tachi ni shizen no taisetsu sa o tsutaete You can learn more about Sachiko Takagi and see her work in this YouTube video and blog post. And I hope that one day her work can be exhibited in America, maybe even Boston. Having the opportunity to learn about Sachiko Takagi and the creatures that she makes with tree nuts, I was reminded of a few things. First of all, seniors may slow down, but they can do marvelous things in the latter years of their lives. Second, I was reminded that variety is fun and natural. Third, 
she reminded me that nature activates creativity and inspiration. Thank you, Sachiko Takagi. This is the work of Ryo Ogawa, or Rome Couch. He started painting these murals all around town after I left, so I'm so grateful that I was able to see them this time. Ryo Ogawa has had solo and group exhibitions around the world in countries like France, Italy, UAE, Malaysia, Germany, and America. However, he has a special place in his heart for Anpachicho in Gifu, his hometown. Rome Couch volunteered to paint these murals around Anpachicho to attract fans like me, and they do. Since I taught a lot of children in Anpachicho, I especially enjoyed Ryo Ogawa's illustrations of Japanese children. It reminds me of my time as a jet there in Anpachi. This mural is special to me as well because I have had the privilege of teaching at two educational institutions for Japanese girls and young women. Besides giving me a lovely sense of nostalgia from teaching Japanese children and youths and young women, the murals of Ryo Ogawa reminded me of Frank Morrison, another excellent illustrator of children. In fact, I would love to see a collaboration between these two across the world. When I saw this mural of Boston on Ryo Ogawa's website, I thought it was located in Boston and that I would be able to go see it in person. However, it's located in Japan. Ron Couch calls his work Neo Ukiyo-e to reflect modern times, and he uses minowashi, which is Japanese paper. Mino indicates where it's from, and mino is another word for gifu. Washi is paper. So he's using paper from his local area. Neo Ukiyo-e comes from the traditional ukiyo-e, of course, a very popular and famous traditional art in Japan, woodblock print. And I happen to have an example. This is a diary with a traditional print, famous print on the cover that I found at Kino Kunia in New York City. So I was able to pick these up as Christmas presents. And on the back, there's an explanation. And it says, Cherry Blossoms by Hiroshige. And Utagawa Hiroshige was one of Japan's most famous ukiyo-e woodblock print artists. And this is one of his famous woodblock prints. And these photos are from a special ukiyo-e exhibit in Boston at the Museum of Fine Arts. And the final photo of ukiyo-e is from the Harvard Art Museum. Finally, these are my three key takeaways from learning about Ro Ogawa and the work that he does in Anpachi and around the world. To sum up, variety is the spice of life. Thanks for listening, everybody. I hope that this inspires you to seek out the hidden treasures of public art near and far.